Hey guys, Bobby here, and today in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a controller look like this. This is my modded PS3 controller. All the lights and stuff are inside of it. There are some LEDs out here, some more LEDs in here, uh, PS button, and also the two, the two joysticks. Now I will show you guys step by step how to do this. The first video right here will be explaining all of what you need, and also um, how to do the PS button in the middle. So... Before I get started, I'm gonna show you guys what I uh, what you guys need to do this. Uh, this is everything right here. So we have uh, some wire. Uh, this is this is, this is the thinnest they have at Radio Shack. It's not it's you know it's thin though, but it's not super thin for the PSV controller. So uh, I have some super super thin wire right here, which I got at uh, Dead Eyes Mods, which is in the UK I think. So we'll go over there to the website. I think it, I think like you have like 10 feet for like four bucks, which is uh, not the best amount for the price, but um, at least I think, I don't know, but uh, yeah, so we have some wire, some wire cutters right here, some tweezers, because you'd be picking up some small things or placing them, uh, a screwdriver to unscrew your controller and whatnot, a marker to be labeling your, or coloring like the LEDs, I'll show you guys that later, um, a X-Acto knife, you guys can get this at uh, any sort of, um, I don't know, work store, uh, yeah. I guess, like Home Depot or Ace. I got mine at Ace, so yeah, it's like four bucks. Um, wire cutters slash um, stripper. Got this uh, also, which is pretty cool. Um, LEDs. Now these are three millimeter LEDs. I'm, uh, I'm going, to be going to be using the orange ones. I'm making my controller a Black Ops 2 theme. So I'm going to replace the buttons with uh, bullet, like bullet casings. It's really cool. And all the joysticks and all the buttons right here are going to be orange. They're not going to be see-through like my other controller. But uh, it still will, will be pretty cool looking. And uh, yeah. So, um, also, some lead for your soldering iron. Uh, soldering iron right here in the background, that's about 80 bucks. You guys do not have to spend that much money. I got the good one because I've been using it a lot lately. Whoops. And um, this one heats up with, like within a minute. Um, so that's the best part about it. You can get one at Radio Shack, but I'm not sure how good they are. Just make sure that it's... Whoops. Oh, I got hot glue everywhere. Okay. Just make sure it's a fine tip. This is very, very fine tip right here. And you need a um, glue gun. It, it's, uh, it's optional, but it is very useful. You can also use tape if you don't want to use a hot glue gun. So... I'm gonna start this off, guys, by showing you guys showing you guys how to take apart the controller and how to do the LED mod for the PS3 button. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna start it off by opening the PS3 controller. Hopefully, you guys know how to do this if you're going to be modding. So um, also my camera is upside down, so if you guys uh, I might I don't know, it might be weird for my angle. I don't know. Okay, now once all your buttons, uh, not buttons, sorry, screws are out, just want to push down right here, right here to release it, and then just take it out. Make sure you take it off like this, so all the buttons don't fall out and whatnot. Actually, it doesn't matter because it's, never mind. Anyway, um, so yeah, take this out right here, and this is your motherboard obviously, and go ahead and unplug the battery. You can do it easier for us than I did. I sort of had to yank this one out. This one's sort of a, uh, I don't know, it's, it's annoying. Anyway, uh, I did have some problems with uh, the rumble right here. Do you see? I sort of, uh, they're not soldered in, but uh, in the end, we'll be soldering those back on. You guys can leave them on if you want, but um, I will take them off in this video just because they get in the way, and I don't want to sort of break them, I guess. The screw can come out. Come on. There we go. Okay. Um, now, this is the newest model, I think. So it has like these little clips right here. So you just want to like uh, push in on like the actual white part of it. And then lift it up. And it should sort of come out. Yep, same with over here. Just push in and lift up. Some of them you just lift up. It's not that hard. So you want to um, take it out now. 
just lift it up like this and you got it out okay so uh, like I said before we're gonna take off the rumble but first we gotta uh, take off the joysticks just you know have a little container next to you or something to put all your parts in um, we're gonna take off this right here now be very careful with this because I actually did break mine um, before um, if your solder gun gets anywhere near this it will just like shrink and uh, pretty much break so just be really careful and take it off your controller there's a little lip right here, take it off right here right here and take this off right here and also on the back of your controller uh, yep take this off in the back if you guys can not see but uh has like a little pad on it make sure you guys don't leave the, lose that pad that really um, you know uh, puts you know makes your controller work right I guess now um we're going to I'm gonna turn on my solder gun at least right now okay um, doesn't matter what temperature you actually put it to I guess just make it high so it actually it works I guess and uh, mine seems to have really messed up here yeah wow this is garbage. Okay. So, take him off, I guess. Eh, it fell off that, actually. Okay. Either you can solder it off. I prefer you guys do that, but mine are already not on that well, so I just had to rip them off. But, um, let's get our solder gun, which is. Yeah, it's already hot a little bit, so let's see if it works. Um, it's not hot enough, so while we're waiting for this to heat up a little bit, it is smoking. Not sure if that's good or not, it's the first time I turned it on. So, uh, anyway, so, yeah, we'll be using this right here. This is our part right here, which we'll be uh, using the X-Acto knife on. And I'll show you guys what to do with that for a second, but I'll put the controller to itself off to the side for now. I'm just going to unsolder this for a second, hold on. Okay, unsoldered that. That is quite hot actually. Okay, so I'll put this back. Now our first step for modding the LED in the middle is to get this part right here and just sort of well, you can leave these in or take them out, either way. I'll take them out, no big deal. We'll put them back in at the very end and solder it all back in. Now, I advise you guys, if you want to do it, you know, all this at once, you know, like do what I did with the PS3 button and all the other buttons mounted at once. I advise you guys doing it at once, but uh, if you guys just want to, you know, have a simple controller control LED mod instead of like mine, which is all crazy, go ahead. But, um, so we have to... Um, take a hole, like, you no, know, drill a hole right here. Um, I had a screwdriver, and I don't know where it is, but, uh, you don't, okay, the preferred method is to use a, I would have to say, screwdriver, but you guys can use, um, not a screwdriver, like a drill. You guys can use a screwdriver if you guys don't have that, so, this is uh, a little too thin, hold on. Now I just have a regular screwdriver right here, and you guys can just literally, um, actually first of all, there will be a little like peg in the back of it right here, there will be a little peg right here, I already clipped it off accidentally, I didn't know I did that, um, just get your wire cutters or your strippers and just go like that and just cut it off, so it's, on that hole it's flat on the bottom. So now we get a screwdriver and just uh, screw, start screwing. You just want to make it big enough for your LED to fit through. Might get a little messy. That reminds me, I usually put a piece of paper down. Usually put a piece of thick paper down so all my scraps can go on this piece of paper. Right, then I can throw it away easily. Okay. So, pack this right here.
Okay, now I did that. So you guys can see the hole is a little bit bigger. Let me just um, get all the... Yeah, okay, just make sure all the plastic that is sort of loose is off, I guess. Okay. Okay, hold on. And, uh, okay. So, once all the plastic is off like this, and you got a little hole here, nice little hole, you guys are going to want to, well, I'll test it first just to make sure it fits, actually. Grab an LED and see it fits through there pretty perfectly. Still has enough room to wiggle a little bit, which is okay, I guess. So, um, now we're going to actually just hot glue our LED inside of here. And first of all, guys, if you guys don't know about um, don't know about LEDs, uh, they usually come like this. One side is longer, and one side is shorter. So, um, hold on. Let me turn on my laptop next to me right here. I have a, I have a um, USB right here which I plug in, and it should light up. If my computer is on. Okay, my computer is turning on, so. Okay, so you guys see that it's la it's lighting, lighting up. Uh, I sort of, I ran out of LEDs, so uh, I don't have any more, but I'm, I think I'm getting some soon. So that's why I only have two. <laughs> but it's no big deal. So right now, um, I'll show you guys what we'll be, we'll be actually soldering it to. If you guys see the back of this right here, um, there is, let me get this light up here more. You guys can see, um, actually, it should be right, these two right, oh shit, not the same controller, is it? Yeah, okay, so, the part that you'll be soldering your wires to, are these two on the end right here? So you'll be putting your. Let me zoom in. Hold on. Um, these two right here. But you'll be having the positive. Whoops. Flipped around. Positive like this, I think. Let me zoom out so you guys can see. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. Um, so positive goes on the right. Positive, negative goes on the, on the left. So. As you can see, the LED is lighting up when I put it on. So positive is on the right, which is the longer one. And it goes down like this, just like that. And um, just for um, me remembering which one is positive and negative, I don't want to keep on measuring because we might actually cut these wires eventually. We probably will. I like to just get a marker. Uh, red is the universal symbol for positive. So just color your positive wire, just color it red, as you see right here, just color it red right here, and um, just to show you guys, um, you know, what it looks like, okay, so yeah, it's pretty red, uh, I don't know if you can see in the video, but it's red, so yeah, now we'll be hot gluing the LED into the center right here. Make sure it's flush with the top so when you swipe your finger over it, you doesn't like nick it or whatever. You want to have it like perfectly sitting in there like that. So if you go like this, it's barely popping out. So you can, can't even feel it. So we'll be hot gluing this in. Whoops, dropped it. And just get your hot glue gun and go ahead. Usually, we are going to actually bend the LED like this, like this, so you guys can um, have the wiring go around to the side of the board, and it's going to go like this. Actually, um, let me think, hold on. Actually, we're going to have the LED, so we're going to have the LED go around like this, to the left side, and we'll probably end up cutting, 
Actually, right now, before we do any of that, we're going to solder. 